Yo, what's up, everybody? It's the Sports Chasers Podcast coming to you live and direct. It is currently 7.30 um, Eastern uh, Daylight Savings Time in the East. Currently, excuse me, 6.30 Central, 5.30 for my mountain people, 4.30 for my West Coast people. It's the Sports Chase Podcast cast coming to you live and direct where we just talk about sports, no hot takes, no nonsense, just strictly sports, man. Today we got a lot to talk about. We'll probably go over our hour. Um, yo, we got the um, NFL has kind of snuck up on us. No pre-games. Um, it's here tomorrow. Kansas City, the world champs, they play tomorrow night on Thursday night. We also got the NBA playoffs. Um, shout out to the Miami Heat. They get rid of the Milwaukee Bucks who have had the best record in the NBA the last two years. Um, this talks about Giannis maybe staying or leaving. We'll dive into that. The Major League um, pennant race, yeah, only 60 games. My Yankees have lost five in a row, but they're still in the playoff punt. And I got this other music playing. I don't know, but anyway. Sorry about that. We got college football. Football is, is playing as we speak. And... There's an article that we send out today about um, some of the um, college football players, excuse me, college coaches not sending out the, the, um, the injury list for people that have coronavirus. And we'll talk about the NHL. We'll talk about other aspects when we come to sports. But we absolutely are going to talk about some of the, the things today that happened on this past week. So we'll start off with D.A. Dave, what's, what's up, brother? How you doing today? What's going on? Oh, man, I'm good in the building. Good to be back. Ready to get it in. All right. Um, we got my man, um, Eric. Eric, what's up, brother? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? How y'all living out there? Man, living good, living good, living good. Mike Mills, what's up? With your Charlie <laughs> Murphy thing going on. <laughs> Wrong, but uh, man, I'm doing good, man. Why you turn the vibes off? That was my joint that you snuck in the background back there. That was your, that was your R&B joint. <laughs> That's my joint. Only for the ladies. Only for the ladies. Yes. Sports, sports chases after dark. No. Okay. Well, Mike will be doing that. <laughs> These dog, what's up? Are you eating? No, nah, my G. I'm good, man. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Just listening to your your intro, kid. Always entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Always entertaining for you, kid. Yeah, man. Uh, man, we got a lot to get into, man. We was absolutely vibing um, before we came on, and we was talking about the NFL. We saw my NBA. I guess since we on the NBA kick, we'll start with the NBA. And NBA. Hey, so we'll get with the NBA. The Miami Heat um, eliminated the Milwaukee Bucks in five games. Uh, they won last night. Um. Miami's been playing really great. Miami has a really, really good, solid team, starting with the, um, the, the veteran, um, Jim, Jimmy Butler. Tyler Hero's on there. He's doing his thing. Yeah. Um, shout out to Pat Riley and Eric Spolstra. Um, hey, they're, they're coaching their way, and they're in the Eastern Conference Finals, and they're going to either face Boston or Toronto. And I absolutely like um, the Heat's chances of making it to the finals. So we'll start off with my man D Dub. What do you think about the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis, the whole thing? Go, yo, uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, yo. I don't know for whatever that bubble, whatever the bubble did, uh, they did not have it. They did not have it. And my kudos to Miami. Miami played well. They started out the gate a sweep, then second round they did it in um in another way. Uh, was it eight and one so far, thus far? So, I mean, they're playing well, excellent. So, kudos, like you said, Jimmy Butler, you know, coming to Miami, taking that challenge and uh, putting them guys on his back. And uh, he is playing phenomenal What for whatever reason why he can, he didn't get it done or wasn't allowed to get it done in Minnesota and the rest of the other teams. Philadelphia, Philadelphia didn't want them. Um, you know, so... Uh, Pat Riley just has a knack of getting these guys and putting these guys together and uh, making it work. Uh, in Milwaukee, you know, I'm not going to uh, 
I'm not going to douse them with uh, gasoline and burn the team up. You know, they they probably will play another. <laughs> Giannis. No, uh, Giannis is a good player. He's a great player. He's an MVP. So we need to still treat him as such. And um, you know, I I think if Milwaukee put a couple pieces around them, they'll be they'll be right where they're supposed to be. And they you know they short they 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 got cut short this year and uh this year i'm not even gonna count it because like again this this is not gonna mean nothing as far as i'm concerned this season oh, so wait, i mean wait, this wait, particular no, season this is not counting yeah this is not i'm not this counting this is. Uh, and that's that goes for every every sport so you know we when we 10 15 years from now we look back at you know oh if miami so happens to go all the way we'll look back and say hey well, Miami won the championship. Yeah, that was a championship season where they was playing in the bubble. Uh, you know, it's just like anything. A strike short in season or whatever the case is, we don't, you know, nobody really entertains oh, those seasons. Oh, that's, um, oh, oh, oh. So the 1981 strike short in baseball season with the L.A. Dodgers. Kev, you don't, nobody even, nobody even talks about that. Nobody even talks Please stop. about it's that. It's totally different circumstances. Please. That and that too, E, but nobody really, really even talks about anytime, anytime that there's some type of disruption and then somebody's winning a chip after. Look at the Spurs, the 50 game season. I mean, it was an enjoyable season, but, you know, nobody, you know. Yeah. They count who that you, way. Who, who do you remember off that, that, that 50 game season Spurs team other than, Duncan. <laughs> Duncan, yeah, exactly. I got Duncan. I mean, you had um wasn't wasn't was my man uh Steven Jackson on that team then? You had I Elliot. Just, I don't know. Jackson 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 was on that team. I think a young Jack was on there. I had to check. Yeah. I had to check that uh, out. I mean either him or Sean Elliott, one of them. I mean guys. labor disputes and my point, this shenanigans is <laughs> two different being, things, I kinda think. My point being do. nobody nobody really remembers it and it's you know, nobody, everybody moves on and, you know, they really don't count that. So it's, it's really an asterisk next to it. Really. But I mean, they'll, they'll say they, they want, they won, but you know, you're not really putting too much stock in it. And I can't put too much stock in this one because all the players, the players didn't play, people opted out because of COVID and all this other stuff. So, you know, it's kind of hard for me to, well, this, you know, everybody knew that this was going to be, it's a neutral site and that anything could happen. So it's not, if this was, if this was in where we had fans and people and you had to travel, Miami is not being this Milwaukee team if they had to go back and forth, switch back and forth. And, and, and you know what, that's a, that's a, it's a valid point, right? Mm -hmm. Cause remember Milwaukee's home court advantage was crazy this year. Absolutely. So when they got in front of that, that fan base, it got crazy. They are professionals. Yeah, they it was doesn't matter. But yeah, it's, it, 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 it right. doesn't matter. It's been that way forever, man. You know that right. momentum makes it happen. It's just just what the truth is, man. You know, and I think one of the biggest points that kind of got Milwaukee was what everyone said, man. The app, the offense was just stagnant, man. Dude, to just stand around and wait for Giannis to bail them out. Absolutely, D. You can see it. You could you could actually yeah. look at it. anybody with two eyes could see this. Like the the offense did not move as as it did a year ago, and yeah. Milton was not the same guy. He came up he came up big the what the last game the game before last. Yeah. He played well when yeah. Giannis got hurt, but after that, I, and my thing is listen. Even for that guy, he already got the bag, but. He misses a lot of jump shots to be a jump shot shooter. You know, like, I'm just saying, you know, he misses a lot of jump shots. He's supposed to be a jump shot man. And he got bricks going up like the projects, though. And, and, and one more thing before, before, and, and I, I know E probably might touch on this. Please miss me with all this talks about Giannis going somewhere this way. Just, I don't want to hear nothing until we see it. Once we see it, then we'll talk about it. But other than that, I'm not speculating on nothing. As far as I'm concerned, he's still there. And, and I agree. I agree, and I'm gonna get off it. So I, he, he's sitting up. Nah, I'm gonna let Mike go to this. I'm gonna right. be a while. I'm gonna be. I, so yeah. All right. Cool. I, yeah. I'm gonna shut the hell up. So uh, listen. All I'm saying is, yo, 
Milwaukee needs to give the kid a chance to give him some time. He started playing basketball late, right? He hasn't been playing as long as other dudes. He's physically gifted. What we need to start doing as people that love the game and quote unquote fanatics is look to ownership. And I was about to drop an F bomb real early, but look to ownership and coaching for building a team around that man. So if you're looking at what Miami did, it was build a team. None was second place in the rookie of the year. Last night was his first game playing in the series, in both series. He was on the bench. That's the job, man, of those other offices, you know, GM, owners, get the players. Coaches take care of the rest. But you have to get the players. And the reality is the players Milwaukee has, if you look at them, are not good enough. They got a bunch of B and C stars. Mm. So that's what you get, man. That's what you get. So I'm out. Mike Mills, go ahead. Oh, yes. Thank you. I've been itching to my seat. All right. Now, let's start. Let's start. Where can we start? Now, the two teams I picked to get out of the East was the two teams that battled, right? Miami. Miami was my sleeper, and Milwaukee was the overwhelming favorite. Everybody knows Milwaukee's number one best record in the East. Now, is it disappointing that they didn't win the East like they should have? Of course, it's disappointing. And I agree with D-Dub somewhat of us not counting this season. It's an asterisk because this was COVID, and this was something that nobody thought was going to happen, or it should have never happened. Now, labor shortages and labor fights, I agree all day. I'll count those championships because – that's a legit reason. You're not letting them get over on you. you fighting for what's right. You're fighting for the next people that's coming. So them labor shortages, I, I, I agree with that season. Now, Milwaukee as a team, I agree with you, DA. Your shooters are supposed to shoot. But every shooter goes cold. And how often is – and that's what happens sometimes. Look when Miami played the Spurs the first time in the finals. Ginobili went cold. When have you ever known Manu Ginobili to go cold for seven games straight? Shit happens. Shit happens. So what? Chris Middleton but, missed a couple One second. One second, right. though, Mike. But, I'm not comparing the two. No, no. I'm just saying. No, no I, I agree. What I'm saying is if that happened with Ginobili, you know what the fuck they had? Patty Mills. And they still lost in seven. But I'm, I'm saying, saying. You got another guy that does that. They didn't have another guy to come in for Chris Middleton if he was cold. And that's, that's what ownership's it, fault. It's not ownership's fault. It's coach's fault. Because well, Buddha Holzer has don't. the pieces. What is George Hill but a spot-up shooter at this point in his career? It's not a ball handler anymore. He's and a shooter. Kyle Corver is still, and they still bring out Kyle, Kyle Corver's Corver. at the bottom of the bench. And here's where coaching comes in. Dante DiVincenzo. I watched college basketball. Came from Villanova. Only reason he got drafted lottery – because he scored 30 points. He's hot. He's a scorer. He's a combo guard. So you put him off the ball, and you let him shoot. But then Hosa is a hell of a coach during the season. I don't know what he does during the offseason, because when the Raptors put that wall up and stopped Giannis <laughs> last year, he didn't fix it. That's where coaching comes into play. They have pieces. They turned Brooke Lopez into a defensive stopper. When have any of us ever known Brooke Lopez to play defense? Brooke Lopez Never. is good for... 13, 15 points and six rebounds. And, and, He's and out kudos, there blocking shots and hitting threes. Kudos so you, to you have Mike. these pieces, but yeah. the coach is not doing what he's supposed to do. Kudos now, Giannis, to you. Giannis needs to work on that jump shot. That's it. He oh, needs to work on sure. that jump shot. Look at LeBron. Hey, Le- and kudos, kudos to you for calling that out. You called Miami. I'm going to give you your props. You called Miami and you said, thank you. you, thank you. you said that's just that was your sleeper, because um, I didn't think you know I was like Miami they they look good I thought I had them on my like the third the third maybe maybe the fourth team because I had uh Toronto Milwaukee Toronto and then who else I had um I think I had Boston in front of and then these uh Miami so you know uh, Philadelphia that's right Philadelphia and Philadelphia got smoked so um that that's you know. Hey, Giannis got to fix that jump shot. 
Buna has got to get either get some pieces or figure out what to how to use your bench because you have three point shooters there and you didn't yes, you, you didn't space bench. the floor. Yes. The game again the game beforehand they they had more more movement and spacing on the floor where Giannis wasn't in the game and he had to figure that out. You got old ass Marvin Williams who could still shoot. You got like Ilya Sova yeah. <laughs> who could still shoot. You got Pat Ilya Connaughton. Connaughton's not a sharp shooter. But he, no, but can, he can shoot. He yeah. can shoot a little bit. He can you shoot have you built this team to drive and kick, and you're not kicking. Giannis yeah. is just driving. So I what you need to get in his head next year is work on your jump shot. What you need to talk the bullet holes is coaching on the fly. A Does, lot of these coaches come in there with game plans, and when shit goes wrong, they just like this. Oh, they hooping. Yeah. Oh shit. They was looking. He looking like Tyron Lue out there. Remember when the Cavs lost that last one? Oh, yeah. Curry and Katie are shooting. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens. You Does have anybody, to adjust. Can Giannis get anybody else to come there to Milwaukee? Oh, yeah, you're still on my thunder um, there. Sure. No, that was my next question. But I had to let Eric speak because Eric has said he's been waiting. Yeah, yeah. First and he's foremost, been uh, Mike wasn't the only one. I also had Miami as a sleeper, so I'm oh, still some of that. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Please. I just wanted please. to say, yeah, yeah, I share yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I share yeah. the shot. My please. Man, my man, appreciate it. Good Hey, yo, um, shout out to um, the realest um, NBA organization on the east side, the Miami Heat. Because from top to bottom, they have proven time and time again, whether it be no stars, a bunch of stars or whatever, that they can somewhat get the job done. Uh, you got two out of four with LeBron. Should have been more. Should have been eh, whatever. But that they one. stick to their guns. You know what I'm saying? They they stick to their guns, though. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody wanted – um, uh, what's my man's name? Oh, damn, I lost my train of thought. All right, we're messing you up. Coach. Eric Spolstra. Spolstra, yeah. And when everybody was ready to get Spoelstra out of there, Pat Riley said, nah, we, we keeping this guy. This is one of the things that we always talk about is giving cats a chance. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring guys in there for two, three years and think that they're going to turn everything back to gold. It doesn't work like that. Continuity, yes. We yes, talk about yes. that with football and, and uh, offensive coordinators and defensive coordinators. You know, just real quick, I know I'm, I'm, I'm diving. What's the guy that just got released from Miami? Not Tannehill. Um, Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen. Does, and this is this would be like his fifth team. The dude didn't have a chance when he first started in Arizona. He didn't have a chance. Man. No, no O line. They said Rosen, run for your life, and yeah. if you make it, we'll keep you again. But this is stuff that we've been talking about amongst ourselves. And I don't know if we put it out on the air, but the the fact of the matter that they don't they don't uh, what did I say? Um, they don't develop these guys, man. There's just no way in the world you could just put them out there and just, you know, just like uh, uh, what's my, what was the number one draft pick this year? Uh, he went to Cincinnati. What's um, uh, oh, uh, Burrow? Um, Burrow. Joe Burrow. Burrow. Joe Burrow. Yo, so Cincinnati swears that he's he's it, and they're gonna throw him in the fire, right? And they play mm-hmm. this weekend. You know what I'm saying? So you know, same thing. What they trying to do with Sam Donald? Oh, no, Sam Donald, he's not – He's now all of a sudden, y'all, y'all hyped him up. Now now all of a sudden, he's not the guy. No, you have to tell you now. You know what I'm saying? And you don't give these guys a chance, man. You don't give you, – you, first of all, your, your, your team is jacked up, and, you, and your developmental game is garbage. So, you know, how are these guys are supposed to – how are they – how are these guys supposed to uh, flourish and you keep on doing this stuff to them, man? I, I, I think it's – it's, well, they'll say it's not fair. There's nothing, nothing's fair. So, I mean, all right, whatever. It's, but it's, game, it's criminal. You, you yeah, shutting, the, you, you putting I guys think you behind set, you, you on the back. these guys up. You yeah, setting these guys up to fail, period. Pretty much. And it's, and it's, it's, it's sad, man. And nobody, nobody calls the stuff out. Now, Mike no. touched on something. Wasn't Booty Hoser the coach of the Atlanta uh, Hawks a couple years ago when they had Millsap and all of them? They had one of the, the best. The regular season uh, 60 in, win Champions, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah. the regular home. season. So, yeah. so, who is going to call this man out? What What happens that so your system only works in a regular season when you play all these teams? Now, when it comes down to the playoffs, when you have to lock in on one particular team, play half the court. team fizzles out. Why? Well, is that's that? why. That's why. That's what happens when the when the teams start getting better because you. It, it, what else? Okay, you play the Knicks four times. That's that's a win all day. You play uh 
who else is, is trash? Cleveland, trash. Right. But well, what yeah, is. You, you, yeah, you do you do well. You supposed to. You won them games. You see in the four the, separate. The talent, right. But when the talent starts getting stronger, he right. he doesn't switch up. He doesn't switch. And, and we've that, seen and this more than one occasion on several different but, coaches that was I, good during the regular season and they get to the playoffs. Nothing. Real idea. quick, real quick. No, you're right. I was just gonna say, in the playoffs, your mistakes are bigger; they're more magnified. And I'm not just not meaning mistakes in the court, mistakes in player personnel, coaches running plays. In the playoffs, that's where that stuff shows the most. So to me, we'll see. But I, I definitely believe that. Ownership and these guys really have to come down and say, Yo, look, man, we've seen the story with you before. What can we do to help you get over the hump? Right? Because we got rid of somebody else that was damn near here. Right? Right? Because they was damn near there. They was at 40 something wins when they got rid of Jason Kidd. Oh, you didn't improve it but by so much. You still ain't win the championship. But he is on you. But I think there are other motivations to keep Budenhauer in the job. So, you know me, I'm always with those finances. So right, that's right. where I see it. Well, what I was getting at was what Mike touched on. When you get into the playoffs, you have to adapt. Okay, it's like boxing. You go the first two rounds, you fill each other out, boom, boom, boom. Okay, this man got a mean right hook. I got I to gotta adapt to that. I got to counter that. You, there, there is no coach, and this is in any sport. If you do not know how to adapt on a fly, damn it, I do not want to see your name on a plaque that says coach of the year. I'm sorry. Just because you got the most regular season wins, that don't mean shit. I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. That don't, that, that don't mean shit. It's, it's all good. Mike and DA, they, they don't. It's all good. Yeah, and and that, that's that's all I was getting at, man. We 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 put too many of these guys because they win, they have the most talent on the team and they run through a, a, a regular season with 50, 60, 70 wins or whatever, and they get to the playoffs and they out one or two rounds. Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And just because you have talent on the team, that does not mean success and 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 rings. It, it, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So let me add, so let me let me add this. So you know me, I um the devil's advocate guy. Mm -hmm. Um and I'm just gonna go to another sport real quick. Just gonna go on it real quick. Bobby Cox coached the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> the Braves only wound up winning one championship out of that whole run they had. One. One. He dominated the East though. He did that. He what was it? Nineteen I, twenty in a row. Yeah, yeah. He, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, yeah. With one of the gonna, with one of the greatest pitching rotations in 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 history. Hey, one of the greatest. I'm not going to take a dump on Bobby Cox because no. he 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 did his and, job. He did his job, but he just can't get over the hop, and he just got look, one look, chip. So, and the structure of baseball when he started was league champion, league champion, league champion. Wild card team one, mm -hmm. so you he could have gotten beaten out for years, you know, by teams with worse records than him, right? Because he was not going to be, you know, he wasn't going to win his division. So, you know, you got to win your division back in the days, or, or get that wild card. Yeah, that's true. You, know, you, had, you, had win. you know, game was a little different, man. The way they kind of you know did the scoring. And, and and for that matter, you you check out um, Marv Levy. You got to the Super Bowl four times. Didn't win Jack. Dominated the AFC for yeah. They they dominated the AFC for quite quite a bit of time, right? Beat up on the Jets, <laughs> such as New England. <laughs> you know, they got there though. They were a good team. Buffalo was the yeah. Buffalo was that team in the nineties. So, I mean, nine times he's my goat. Yeah, but I think with basketball too, it's a seven game series, and you it's a seven game series, and 
I lost my train of thought that quick. It's a seven-game right. series, right? During the regular season, you see mm-hmm. these teams in the East four times. You see them on separate nights. So, yeah, right. your little game plan going to work because, like, I just kicked the Knicks' ass twice. Ain't nobody else thinking about the Knicks. Let me focus on the next game. You facing the same team up to seven times in a row. You should be able to switch the battle plan because – they doing the same thing. They did the same thing at first. Like, all right, so, hey, they beat us. Let's do this. This is what I'm saying. Like, we always talk about how players you um you get you 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 get on. You're a professional player, and and now you know the goal is to get better, get better, get better. We don't never talk about these coaches. These coaches need to get better too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. my thing is this: you if well, if if you're in a stable organization like Miami, right? If you're in a stable organization and you see the pieces that basically they that they try to get for you, why is that you can't? Why is it that you cannot take them to the next level? Is what I'm saying. That's that's think, crazy to me. Now it's not it's not meant for everybody to do that. I understand that, but however, if you are the coach of the year and it's not the third and you're and you're um, enamored as one of the one of the best coaches in the league right now, then you need to prove it. It's not just getting there. It's not about just getting there. Yo, I, I I am uh, I'm with you guys at 100. Um, percent especially coach, with the Miami, play. yeah, yeah, yeah. Coach, and on his own, oh, on his own. <laughs> and, and, and the reality is that I think Spolstra does well because he has Pat Riley. You know, not a lot of coaches. 100. They, they they call him upstairs, but yo, yo, coach, have you seen this 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 happen before when you were coaching? How do I handle it, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm going to jump on my shit right now, all right? All right, because it's about to fucking go down. So please, please forgive me. We okay. talking all this shit for the white coach. Black coach would have been fucking fired. Please mm. believe that. Uh-oh. All right, because they Uh-oh. fucking fired Dwayne Casey, who was the motherfucking coach of the year. All right? We haven't been on that two weeks. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean, but this, this, this gets no. me mad. So no, we have these co- conversations about coaches that we don't know if they're holding up their end of the deal. But ain't no one talking about firing these coaches. <laughs> so, wait, wait. So, last week, who got talked f- about it? <laughs> talked about it, right? And who was it that got fired? Was it Dwayne Casey? It was, um, who was it that got fired? Oh, Billy Dunley. Billy Dunley got fired today. He should have got fired four years ago. He should have been bingo. Billy Donovan should have been. Whoa, gone. whoa, whoa, whoa! For what? What Billy should have been going for? Oh, okay. Oh, I, no, I, oh, I, I, whoa, I, I whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, what Billy should have been going I, for? I, I for the same thing you, we've been talking about. You can't get can guys tell you over a, the hump. I can tell you exactly what the fuck Billy Donovan could have got <laughs> been going for. <laughs> tell me, I'm listening. I'm all ears. I mean, I ain't got nowhere else to go. We probably not, 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 not controlling Russell Westbrook so he can fucking play with the best player in the league. Mm-hmm. So Kevin you Durant now is the best player in the league. Oh, at the time he was on his way to being in, yes. Yeah, I, 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 that, that, yeah. <laughs> give me a dude that can bust his ass. Kevin Durant was probably the best player at the, in Golden State. Give I me mean, a dude that can bust, bust his ass. LeBron's ass yeah. twice yeah. Yeah. from the give same spot. With help. With help. With help. With help. The best he came down team court. in the world Wait, around let's... him. Let's, we let's, won 70 we, games without – we don't need – Draymond, we don't hey man, need you. Hey, man, LeBron went eight in a row. That's all we kept hearing. LeBron is the greatest ever. That's all we kept hearing. He Kevin Durant was the not in that – in the league. Kevin Durant was man, not in that stratosphere, but he man, proved it. Man he can't on do man. what LeBron do. What, what does he can't do? Watch what he going to do with the loser Kyrie. Let's see that. Uh, uh, That's going to prove uh, it next year. But go uh, back to Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, so wait, as, yeah. as – as coach, dog dudes were telling me, yo, listen, man, you and KD could do that, 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 that. Dog, you got to stop taking those bad jumpers. We can't have you going two from 10 from the, from the three-point line. You can be pull back on those, on, those, on those turnovers. Let's get the ball to our teammates. That's all he had to do for Kevin Durant to stay. He could not do that. Right, control your players. You're the coach; they're the players. You could tell they did not listen to what he said to do. So I I I know what started this. It, it was last week. We everybody because we didn't come on last week. 
Um, it was the Steve Nash going to the Brooklyn Nets and being their head coach. And me and DA talked about it, uh, you know, off the air. And I was saying that the that Kyrie and Kevin Durant, they had, you know, if they wanted to get somebody of whatever, of whatever, they wanted to get a black coach, whatever, they had the cachet, and not only did they have the cachet, they are who they are. And so they could have brought whoever they wanted to in, I thought. But basically, the, I'm, and I'm just saying this, the NBA is pretty much just like the Buddy Buddy League. Any, and and, and, and kind of like anything else in life where, you know, you got a friend, you know, especially like in my profession, DA's profession, sometimes ain't no, it ain't what you know, it's, what, it's who you know. And Steve Nash... Absolutely used to work out with Kevin Durant. He was a consultant. And when he was available, now Kevin, uh, um, Steve Nash has never coached anywhere. And for that fact, several other black coaches have never coached anywhere. So, you know, I just want to get that caveat too. So we can't be two faced about it either. But Kevin Durant and Kyrie said, yo, we want Steve Nash. And they brought him on. So that's what brought about this. this. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that was a black decision at all. I, I don't. Because they made Jacques Vaughn the highest paid assistant coach in the league, and they played well. Everybody but KD and Kyrie, who were hurt, everyone that went down to that bubble balled out. Oh, they balled Jacques out, yeah. Vaughn. So they had to keep Jacques Vaughn because you know what? He is the quote unquote real coach. Like when Franks went with uh, uh, Jason Kidd, Franks was the real coach. Mm-hmm. He's the real coach. Yeah. Larry, Steve Nash Larry, is going to go give the speeches. Larry, Larry Bird was from Indiana, and um, what's homeboy that's out? No, 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 no. Larry was a real coach in Indiana. My so? question is: No, they said that. They said that. But, but, but Billy Donovan, his he's coached that OKC team five to the years. playoffs every year. Two hundred and thirty-nine wins, one hundred fifty-three losses, sixty-one percent, sixty-one percent as a career wins. 15 and 19 in a in a in the playoffs. 15 wins, 19 losses. He's not horrible. It's not horrible, but he's not getting the job done. I'll tell you that. But but I, what I'm saying in that case, a black man with that resume is fired by now. That's all I'm saying, B. Oh, he probably been fired in the Personally, years. nobody with that resume should be fired. But let's keep it let's keep it funky. Of all the black coaches available, besides Mark Jackson, who you think should have a job? Who out there? Good point, Michael. There's uh, none. No, 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 no. Head coach. No, 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 no. What? Monty Williams. Monty Williams. Don't Monty still got a job? No, I think Monty got let go. Monty didn't I get fired. Uh, I think Monty Alvin got fired. In, um... No, Monty's, Monty's still in Phoenix. In, um, he's still in, Phoenix he's, yeah. Okay, so no, Monty, Monty did, deserves his job because yeah, that uh, was amazing. He, I don't care. Asterisk but, and all. That was amazing. Buddy and um, that got fired from um, New Orleans. He did he nothing wrong. Lose his job for what? For for keeping for dude not losing weight for like, having on, that man. for having that trash record. The NBA helping you get into the playoffs. And come on, another, man. That's another one who don't coach. We gonna push the tempo and we gonna run and we gonna oh. yo. If you want to know who can't coach, listen to no, who said no. we gonna push the tempo. Look, look, listen, now, now, now this, this is a big well, That's NASCAR Dan Tony, so he but, should be the but, head of the list. But, but now, this is yeah. real, real talk. Not real talk. Tony. I told my Dan Tony right now. This, this Dan, is real I talk, agree though. I agree with you. Tyson Chandler should um, be on the bench like a fossil collecting dust. But we're not going to talk. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking Michael, about my, okay. board, my, my dude. My dude in the NBA said straight up and down, when they put the camera on the head coach in timeouts, that's all they can let them say. They will not let them really go over plays with people listening to it. He said, if you listen to them, they all sound the same. We got to do what we do, fellas. We got to push. Pull. Said, that's, that's just what they do. Because you never hear no one cameras. really, you don't really go into, they really don't go, are not supposed to go on the X and O's hard body. The cameras are not supposed to ever. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the presses when they get hired. Yeah, man, you know. Oh, yeah, well, we got yeah, some I mean, pieces and we're going to, we're going to push the pace. Now, I want to hear, you know, what's, I want to hear. You don't got to tell me your plan, but paint the picture. Give me an outline. 
Give me a skeleton figure. Yeah, you know, we guys, we're going to put some changes in place. We're going to put a system. We're going to move accordingly. I don't want to hear we're going to push the pace. We're going to play faster. We're going to shoot yeah, yeah. more threes. That's I agree. PR, that's the PR nothing. statement that they was given to, to read exactly. out. To the... Exactly. Oh, and that's how I know. Let me, let me, that's how I know. You where's, Dwayne, coach. where's Dwayne Casey at? Detroit. Detroit. In Detroit. Wasting yeah. away. Oh, let me let me rein, let me rein this in. We we're, we're gonna spend five more one, five more minutes here on, on the NBA. Very good banter. Very good discussion about this. Um, <laughs> Mike and Dia, y'all guys are funny tonight. Dwayne Casey on the OKC team. I I, I think I would see the. I think he'll get better results than uh, Donovan. But the I, I just say the whole coaching landscape in all four of the professional sports is is, is what they they use re- retro retreads. My opinion. They, they they use retread. So look at my Knicks who just hired. Except for Toronto, Toronto, Toronto just you know they Nick Nurse. And Nick Nurse was a homegrown project, so that worked out. But like you said, everything Jeez. else is yeah. retread. We not gonna talk about Tibbs because I'm gonna talk about Tibbs the way we talked about Fitz, and y'all gonna uh, tell me to chill, uh, and wait, I'm gonna wait, be right on. again. Chill, no, Mike, no, chill, I'm man. Like, Dad. Like, Can you get Tibbs a, a chance? Well, he didn't, no. he didn't get, he said, y'all, he said, we are stupid for hiring Fizzle. And I think Fizzle absolutely got a raw deal. No, he well, didn't. No, he didn't. He can't coach. Another, he another one that can't coach. He didn't develop players at all. And that was his, he, I think that was his downfall. He ruined the grit and grind Grizzlies. If you couldn't win with that Grizzlies team, you can't win with no team. Well, the coach before him couldn't win either. So what are we talking about? At least he made the playoffs. <laughs> That they didn't make the playoffs. I mean, at the end of the day, I thought I mean, the plan was to win the your last game. Now? What's the standards? What, what is the standard for to me? To give a chance uh, to, to give a coach a chance to continue to develop a team to get to uh, a championship. If me, you inherited a winning team, you should be at least make the playoffs next year. Mike, I don't think you should win it all, but at least you should make it the next year. Okay, Mike, I can see that. Go ahead, Cap. Hold on, Mike, because you're stealing my thunder and my punch line too. My bad. Uh, no, no, you're good, man. Love you, bro. That's um, no. This is great. What I'm saying is, Mike, you just made a good point. So, Mark Jackson, right, develops the Golden State Warriors team. They fire him because of what he's saying about his Christianity and whatever case may be. I, I don't know all the particulars. He gets fired. Takes. They bring in Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr brings in his dynasty. Um, um, Chucky. He comes in be after um what's my man? Who's, who's what's the coach? Um well, the dude from the Colts, man. Oh, golly gee. Why well, I can't think of a man's uh, name from the Colts. Dungy. Uh, Dungy, thank you, Mike. Tony Dungy. Tony Dungy. Dungy. He developed the Tampa Bay team. He gets fired. Chucky comes in, he wins the thing, and now he develops this this Chucky thing. And it happens. And yo, yo, that's, yo, that's yo, the point what? to that's the point to Stephen A was saying, and I think that's what he was saying in the grand scheme of things. Not that you know guys don't don't get a chance. It's the fact that the black coach comes in, does the job, and then somehow gets axed, and then here comes white I, coach I think- comes in and saves the day and takes it to the championship. And I think that's what makes people a little upset. Let me, let me, before DA, before you jump in. And so D Doubles had a great point. How much time do we give a person? How do, how much reasonable time do we give a head coach, manager, whatever? And I, 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 to- I think it's hard, man, because each, each situation is different. So if you come in with a young team and you need a cat like, like Brett Brown, he got a lot of years, right? But he made some bad moves. Right, because I still think Jaleel Okafor is a monster. That's There's the- a lot of dudes he let go, right? But mm-hmm. they gave him that rope because he was there to develop the talent. That's the process. Right. So if you if you got a younger team, if you got an older team, then there's different goals, right? So like Mike, if my, like Michael said, you know, if you were a, a good team before, we expect at least see you in the playoffs. And if you were the playoff team before, we expect to see you get to the chip. It's been like that in every – it's always a step up. That's what that coach is right. brought in here to do. Well, the, it's does never brought Buda, in there to go backwards. Does Buda Hauser get fired after the performance that happened? No. How long you been there? How long Buda Hauser year been? two of Buda Hauser. 
Oh, hell no, man. Nah, two? Nah, he's yeah. two, man. See, I think two, if I, if I may say, I think that it's, it's, it's not just the coaching, it's management. Because a lot of these guys, the coach doesn't have a say so in who gets shipped in and out. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I always said Philadelphia before they made all these trades, before they sent Covington away and Sarek away and all this other stuff, that was a dominant team. That team was a team to be feared. And once they made, they made wait, they made one too many trades. Yeah. And sometimes the guys that the pieces that you bring in after the fact, it doesn't work. It's true. And these are vets. These are not guys that, that you know, when we talk about develop developing players, hell, what was what's what's this? Al Hoff is what, year 12, 14, something like that? You got Richardson, he's already kind of this is what his sixth, seventh year in the league or whatever like that. So it's 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 different it's apples and oranges depending on the on the talent that you bring in. Exact. I mean, I, for the first time tonight, I agree with DA. It's a step up. Like where every team is different. You can't you can't judge every team the same. Like if you got a trash team, you inherit them, they won 20 games last year. You the first year, that's the that's the test year. That's the year we expect you to win 20 again or, like, 24. But once you start making them moves and you get what you want in place, then even if you miss the playoffs the next year, if it's an improvement, if you won 20 the year before and then you win 35 and you was in the race, you shouldn't get fired for that because mm-hmm. you improved somewhat. You didn't do what you – but you improved. you making strides. And then after that, you should be in the playoff race. You should be think, right there. But, but I, also, I don't even think Budenholz even has his team yet. I don't even think he has the dudes that he wants to have on that team, on that roster yet. Because remember, right. you got to make moves in between here and there, and you're working with ownership, you're doing the cap. So that he probably has some guys that he wants, but he can't get just yet. Wait for their contracts to expire. I or think we're going to get at least, yeah. at least two to three more before. Yeah, at least two. So he got two years now. He gets what? He gets another two or one more year? Yeah. I think he should get another two at least. Right. At least if he don't, three. if he don't make the conference Listen. finals next year, that's what you got to be like. All right, now. Listen, what you all got I'm saying, going man, on. You got, you got, you, these guys got to be fair, dog. That's unless, what I'm unless, saying. Unless, man. unless he marries a black woman, in which case, what year is his last <laughs> last year? Uh, Yo, Yo D- no, we got, we got, we got two minutes, man. So <laughs> let me, let me just do two topics on the NBA, and then we got to get out the gotta NBA. Go. Got to go. We got to get out the NBA. Just real quick. 30 seconds. One, no, one minute. Start with DA. Does Giannis stay or does he go? He ain't going. He's staying. <laughs> He's staying. Where you going to go? Why? He's good. He's good. He knows he needs to get better. Ross needs to get better. That's all I got. Okay. Mike Mills, since you and DA are buddies tonight, does Giannis stay? Giannis stays. There's no way for him really to go, really. Like, that's really going to make a super difference unless they, unless we go back to the super team era, which I'm happy is over. There's no way for him to go. He might as well stay. Gotcha. Um, Eric, go ahead. I'm going to say this, man. Um, I think Giannis is an alpha, and I think um, he sees that the organization is trying to put pieces around him. So he'll stay, but I will not be shocked. I, if there's anything in 2020, yo, man, anything can happen, man. So I, I don't see it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does. But I don't see it. Gotcha. D-Dub? Kev, this man is not going nowhere. He said that he wants to be in Milwaukee. He said he doesn't want oh, to be Oh, the right things for y'all this morning. <laughs> That's fun. Hey, man, listen, I'm going to go by what the man said, and this is the way I'm going to treat – Every player in the NBA, if that's what you said, that's what you said. You said you're not going nowhere. I'm going, and I quote, he said, it. I'm not going to go nowhere. I want to stay here in Milwaukee. Milwaukee is my home. Fine. Sure. So as far as I'm concerned, he's staying there. He's going to either recruit players to come with him. He's going to sign that max deal because ain't nobody else going to give him that type of money. He, he never, never seen that type of money before. He's gonna get the max deal for almost two hundred something thousand, two hundred million dollars, maybe three. And uh, he's 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 won two MVPs. He's gonna win the MVP this year, right? Nope. 
So he's going he's going to get what a three hundred million dollar contract or close to it. Where you going to say go? this real quick? I think Milwaukee is one point guard, <laughs> Chris Paul, and one solid shooter away from dominating the East. That's just my point. How old is Chris Paul? Thirty what? Four. Uh, 34, but son balling. I, I would definitely trade Chris Ball for uh, Eric Bledsoe. 105 yeah. years old tomorrow. And, and, and dog years. Yeah, well, you know what? E, e, that's a good point. I could see that. If if he could, if they could do that, I don't know who they're going to lose to make that them numbers work. But him, Chris Paul, Middleton, or whatever the case is, uh, yeah, they, 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 they should be able to get some guys off the scrap heap and put them on. And um, make it happen. Giannis need to go to the to the drawing drawing board and, and shoot a, a a thousand a thousand threes, a thousand jump shots every day until next year. You know how some dudes look like they got taught how to shoot. That's how LeBron shoot. LeBron shoot like somebody taught him. Whoever taught LeBron how to shoot the last whatever years he just learned how to shoot. Giannis need to get his number and. Like you watch the, if you, all you gotta do is study the LeBron because he does the same exact move, especially with jump shot. He he starts he 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 dribbles dribbles and then he jumps off fades to the either to the left, depending on what side of the court they are. And he fades, he, he just goes to the left. It, it, yeah, he does the same thing. And you see you can see he is in a rhythm. He's in he's in a, in a in the same rhythm, and you know. But he, yeah, uh, Giannis need to find that jump shot. If he can find shout that, out he'll to, be out. Shout out to whoever told LeBron how to shoot. By the way, yeah. yeah. So real quick, with, with Boston and Toronto, it's uh, currently seventy five sixty nine with four forty one left in this game. Um, Boston is currently up three to two. Start with Mike Mills. Who's going to win the series? Mike, you are muted for whatever reason. Ooh, I apologize. We're yeah. doing good tonight. Let me get right. But uh, Toronto making a little run right now. So good. Nick Nurse is good with the X and O's. But I think Brad Stevens is a little bit smarter. So I got the Celtics winning. Especially they got an X factor. Jason Tatum is a star. And yeah. Toronto ain't got none. He's so. a stud. Oh, uh, D-Dub. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, who, is it? who you got to me? Um, who you got yeah. winning? Yeah, man. Uh, I think Boston got too many uh, players for the, um, Toronto. Boston should close it out tonight. Uh, right now, 76-69, third quarter. Four and a half to go. But uh, with the, they should be able to close this out. Kimba, Tatum, Brown, uh, Marcus Smart. These guys should be able to close the deal. Um, I'll take them, and they should, they should be meeting uh, Miami in uh Conference finals. Eric, go ahead. Um, I think Boston got it unless unless um Siakam goes super scion or something like that. Um I don't Boston was the other team that I had picked anyway. So I the addition of Kimba, I will say, I have to I have to go ahead and say this. Um when when they got rid of Kyrie and got Kimba, I was like, man, that ain't gonna work, man. That ain't gonna work. They made a liar out of me. Um, Kemba has been that uh, floor general that they needed. Everybody's doing their part. The young boys is is growing before our eyes. And Brad Stevens doesn't get enough credit as a coach. But, uh, yeah, Boston going to close it up. DA, who's going to win the series? Boston. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go to the other series real quick. Um, we got um, Denver. Well, the Clippers in Denver. They um, face up um, next. Um, LA is up two to one. Um, your man had a very bad game. Kawhi had a very bad game last game. Um, hopefully he'll turn it around. I'm picking. Oh, let me go back to the Toronto Boston series. I think uh, Boston's going to pull it out. They got too many weapons. And the LA Clippers Denver series. I like. Um, the Clippers. The Clippers got too many weapons. Go ahead, um, D-Dub, about this series. What do you like? Oh, you're talking about Clippers in uh, Denver? I thought Denver was going to do something last game, but um, they was met by PG. PG, uh, playoff P. 
he finally, you know, not I said I shouldn't say finally showed up, but he played. A, he had a heck of a game, uh, 30, 30 plus points. You know, so I expect the uh, the Clippers to, you know, do the same. You know, they um, they should they up what two games to one, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. two one. And yeah, so they should be able to close this close this out in the next uh, next couple of games or over the weekend. Okay. E, Eric, what you got? You know, Kev, I, you you had made a well, you didn't make a point, but when you said that you had Denver as a um as a sleeper, I kind of paused for a minute. I'm like, Denver got the right pieces, but they don't show up when you need them to. Yeah, you know, Murray took over that first series or whatever and it was extraordinary, but Clippers, the Clippers got too much, man. Um they deep. They very Denver, deep. you you have to when when they're having a bad game, you have to pounce on them and win those games, man. But uh, I, I I got the Clippers, man. Okay, DA, who you got? Clippers or Denver? Believe it or not, I'm going with the Clippers, um, but the Clippers and Denver are actually just mirror images of each other. One is just five to six years ahead of the other. They're babies in Denver. The oldest guy on the Denver team is Paul Millsap, and they only got him there until Michael, uh, whatever his name, Jr., gets right by next year, and then he's starting at the power forward. Next Michael season. Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr., yeah. Like, they are, are they are like Miami, what you want to be and what you want to see in a team as far as being forward thinking, um, looking out for players. Like a lot of dudes passed on Michael Porter Jr. They thought he was never going to play again. Look at him now. Everybody had the same doctor. Someone just had the belief. So that's the type of, of organizations you need to have. You know, and I can see them running the West, you know, next five, ten years. I think they're going to get at least three chips out of there. So that's how deep they are. So, yeah, I, I'm going to go with the Clippers for now, but it's going to be Denver in, in, the, in the very near future. Mike Mills? You are muted again, sir. I get right. I agree with the rest of the panel. I begrudgingly am going to go with the Clippers. I want Denver to win, but Denver is clearly a year or two away. I and – where every game you watch, you can see the youth. You can see it. It's just certain moments where they just don't show up like they should, and that's part of it. I think year two away, but yeah, Clippers are gonna win this. They probably go to six. I don't think they're going to seven. Probably be six. Okay, well, last but not least, the L.A. Lakers and the Houston Rockets. L.A. is up two to one. The eighth round with you, who's going to win this league to go to the Western Conference Finals? I would assume it's going to be the Lakers. I haven't really watched it, but I would I would assume it's the Lakers. But they have um. Well, he didn't watch it that night because he wasn't playing defense. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I didn't watch it. And and but the one thing about the Lakers is they're the team with the most pressure, right? So. Yeah. You could easily see things going bad for them if it goes 2-2 two, because two. then all the pressure mounts at that point in time. Um, and, you know, so we'll, we'll see what happens from there. But I'm thinking they should be able to, to, to beat this team that doesn't have a guy over six foot seven. They should be able to. Right. Who knows? Okay. Eric, what do you think about this series? What you, what you got so far? Lakers up 2-1. Honestly, I know you got Brody in the beard, but that small ball really does not have a place. I, mean, I ain't going to say it doesn't have a place, but for championship basketball, it, it just doesn't work. You know what small um, ball reminds me of, Eric, and I'm, I'm, I'm cutting you up. Yes, I am. It reminds me of the running shoot. Remember back in the 90s, they had the running shoot? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 it didn't mount to nothing. Probably got you probably to the – Conference semifinals in football, that's about it. Yeah, you know, it, it, it gets it gets people in the stands, it gets eyes on the TVs, but it don't bring in no championships, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the team as 
big man heavy as the Lakers. Um, you got Anthony Davis that on a good night will show you just how good he is. I mean, well, might as well say great. Um, he handles the ball like a friggin' guard. Yeah. Jump shot, spin. I mean, he gets down in the paint. He doesn't mind. Well, at times he doesn't mind contact and all. Um, say, yeah, he does mind some. And then you got, and then you got Buddy who just buddies his way into the paint and all this other stuff. And when when their shooters are on point, the Lakers are hard to beat. Um, but yeah, I, I got. I'm I'm actually surprised Houston got a game, but. Um, I, I got the Lake. The Lakers. The Houston shouldn't win another game, honestly. D Dub. Yo, I'm in total agreement. Uh, with the Lakers should win the series, man. You know, they try to. You know, I know they're doing their job. They're trying to get you hyped up, but man, please, man. This this small ball. I mean, and this is extreme small ball. This is like extreme coupon. It. This is extreme small ball with this uh, Houston Rocket team. They they small everywhere. You got a six foot six guy playing center. If I'm not talking, um, uh, Tucker, Tucker is good man, but he's not a center man. And you dealing with AD? Uh, what's the other kid's name? Um, Javale McGee. Kid? McGee. I mean, they come off. Uh, come on, man. Dwight Howard. I mean, you got three seven footers. And then you expect them to shoot and be in rhythm on the other end. Yeah, man, it's just not. It's not going. I don't see it working. And and for 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 Houston to win, they have to be lights out and shooting the ball, and they haven't been in the last. And Westbrook has been breaking them. Absolutely. Westbrook has Westbrook has is looking like a. Uh, I don't know. He looks like a shell of himself. He doesn't look. He doesn't. He's, he looks like a guy that keeps shooting, and you keep looking at this yeah. guy. Yeah, he, 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 right. He's like that guy, man. Why are you still shooting, dog? Is this why go to the hoop, do something else? I don't, I don't like Westbrook game. I never really been a, a, a true big fan of his game, and just you know, he just uh, he's to me, he's just a runaway train, just out of control. You know, he's playing the wrong thing. position, in my my opinion. He should yeah. be a two guard. Yeah, well, he he never wants to give that up. So you know, Mike Mills. Um, I mean, Westbrook was a two-guard coming, and they did switch him over. But uh, the Rockets remind me of that team in the hood with all the the super athletes that buddy up, and they want to play together. Y'all got my man. That's what they remind me of. And then that team win a couple games, but they never, like, dominate like they supposed to. All it takes is somebody that's smarter and know what they're doing, and that's exactly what the Lakers is doing. They about to – they taking advantage of that. AD go inside, get to the foul line a bunch of times. LeBron go LeBron. And then nobody thought Rondo was going. Rondo was out there looking like Ray Allen. Just it's crazy. So yeah, the Lakers are gonna finish this one. And that that was another one, uh, Mike. That that's not supposed to Rondo 21 points for Rondo. Who was guarding that dude last night? Rondo was hitting mids. Who, he who was, was hitting guard, mids. Who was who was guarding Rondo last night? I don't know. The ghost. Was James Harden? The ghost. You know, he, he, he balled out, though. He balled out. Yeah, but the dog. But that, 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 that's like, again, those are the guys. You, you can't let this guy. You know, Rondo can't. He's, he, he he got 21. But that's not supposed not, to happen. Sorry. Not, not a great defensive team. Your, your, defense, your defensive players is not supposed to let Rondo get off and hit 21 points. I'm sorry. That's just I like got saying, two words Patrick, for you. That's just like Patrick Beverly going for 32. I got two words for you. Yeah. NASCAR, Dan Tony. Yeah, and, and it's not going to win again. And let's see if he gets fired. I'm going to leave it like that. Or is Daryl Morley going to save him? Or is the China going to save him? I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> is China going to save him? China. Oh, man. So we tackled that for a little bit. Um, we're going to go to Major League Baseball. And then we'll go to the NFL. Um, Major League Baseball is trucking right along here. Um, mm. And they're going to be ending the season at the end of this month. No, 60, 60 games. That's it. And currently it's um, – you got Tampa in the American League. You got Tampa, Oakland, Chicago, Cleveland, Minnesota, Toronto, Houston, and the Yankees. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And the Yankees as being part of the eight team um, postseason play. And Baltimore is breathing down the Yankees' neck. And then the National League, you got the Dodgers at the top. Then you got San Diego, Chicago, Atlanta, uh, LA, San Diego, Chicago, Cubs, Atlanta, Philadelphia, St. Louis, Miami, San Francisco, Colorado. I'm sorry. San Francisco. There's been a couple of clubs that have not made the playoffs in a long time here in baseball. And it looked like some of that streak is going to break. Yeah, like the White Sox and Toronto and uh, – no, not Toronto. I'm sorry. Um, but what do you guys think about this? This. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real with you, Kev. The Yankees are out, right? We got a month left. 6.5 games back. Six and a half back. Yeah, yep. we got the Rays, the Blue Jays. The Indians, the White Sox, they don't the make Athletics, the and the Astros all have a better record than the Yankees right now. No, no, um, Kev, they're not going to make it. You, you not, sound surprised. They're, no, they're, they're, not, they're, they're six out. and a half games back. They're, they're not going to make it. They, they, it's it's done. We, they lost all them players to injury. And who in the world is the injury, the, the trainer coach for the New York Yankees? Because so, God... Well, right now, right now, as it stands, the Yankees are currently has the eighth wild card spot. And I mean, excuse me, they have the yes, they have the eighth eighth spot. Eighth spot. But are there eight spots going in? Right? Yes, eight spots going in. So behind the Yankees are the Orioles, the Tigers, yeah. Mariners, and Angels. Yeah. The Orioles got twenty. Yeah. yeah. The Tigers okay. got nineteen. Mariners got nineteen. You know what? I, I will say it this way: so they're saying they won't make it. They won't make it in a way that helps them win. They'll be limping in, they'll limp the hell right back out. Because you know, you know who they'll face? They'll face Tampa Bay, who I don't even think we beat this year. No. They, yeah, they smoked they're 28 and 15. God, they smoked us. Yo, they smoked us the other night. It, it, yeah, we can't beat the right. The Yankees. The Yankees are not full staff. Surrey, all the, the pitchers, they ain't got nobody. I'm asking, got they doing eight spots this year for baseball? Yeah. They're doing I, five. I well, we'll get into what? That. But shout out to Eric. Eric called out the White Sox. The White Sox are pretty damn six and sixteen, man. I, I will I will give myself a pat on the back. Uh oh. Uh oh, pat on San the Diego back. Padres. Uh -oh. I did not care if I told you like three years ago. Yep. The Padres are gonna be the best team in the National League. They yeah, got man. the best infield now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. No, For the next 10 years, they're going to have the next, they're going to have the best infield in baseball. Is that my man, mm. friend, uh, Fernando Tatis? Yeah. Going in the Slam Diego Padres, man, because they hit yes. grand slams like every game, man. Yes. Yeah, Slam Diego. They got cool, yeah. B. They got a cool, yeah. San Diego is fourth in the um, postseason season, postseason seating. Um, Eric, yeah, yeah, your your man, he's 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 got them limping along with the Phillies. Um, with that one pitcher, you know, in San Diego, you know anyone on that rotation, nobody. So, well, I, I was like them. I was talking to Eric about um um what's his man, uh, Bryce Harper. What Eric? What? Nice. Oh, oh, flop Harper. Man. Hey man, Faith. Yo, that Faith team, Harper. that team would be doing Faith much Gazy better without Harper. him. Yeah, I, I mean, his, his name is Fagazi. Uh, I don't. I don't care for him. I, I really don't. I, I think he was good he, before he started getting these injuries and stuff, man. But well, before he got the bag, yeah, that too. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, my bad. My <laughs> that bad. too. But uh, Philadelphia, the way that they're um, currently constructed, I think they don't. They don't need a Bryce Harper, but maybe he helped. Maybe yeah, they're twenty-one and eighteen some of these guys in, but yo, know, the Washington Nationals—they look like they won't be repeating. They're sixteen and twenty-five. Um, just, just yeah. it's a very abnormally abnormal year in baseball. Um, the Red Sox they stink. They're fifteen and twenty nine. Um, but like I said, in the American League, it's going to be right now. The players want to start the days. The Rays, Oakland, Cleveland, White Sox, Jays, Astros, Twins, and the Yankees. And then the National League will be the Dodgers, the Cubs, the Braves, the Slam Diego Padres, the Philadelphia Phillies the St. Louis Cardinals, the 
Miami Marlins. Uh, shout out to my man, Don Maddow. You're making it happen. And, and number two, Derek Jeter. And the San Francisco Giants are holding down the eighth spot currently, man. So uh, about roughly about 18 games left for everybody to play. Um, who knows what's going to happen? Maybe the Yankees will get it back together. Uh, yeah, I don't know who's the the injury trainer for the uh, the, the the trainer for the Yankees. Um, everybody's and it all it all started with my man um, Stanton, man. When he went down, and then it seems like it was a domino effect that everybody just from the pitches. Uh, Severino, he had but you know what? Go ahead, D. Go ahead, finish up, bro. Severino injury. I mean, it, it was just a, 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 a litany of injuries. And I was like, yo, man, ain't, ain't no way in the world they're going to be able to come back to, uh, you know. Currently, the Yankees are beating the Blue Jays 5-2 in the seventh. Yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted to pick it back on something Michael was saying. There's eight teams in the playoff shit. That, that's just for this year, right? That's just for this year. Just yeah, because you, know you know what that is, right? That's the disco record night at the field thing. It's another trick. Well, go ahead and explain, DA. Go ahead. That they're that they're doing right now to make the game exciting for the playoffs. Oh, it, it cheapens the game, man. You know I, what? What do the playoffs mean if everybody gets to go? How long have we been saying this, D? I mean, we've been oh, saying this man, for. Stop playing, they, ding, they ding, ding, ding. You did not say nothing when the NFL just added two more teams. Oh, no, 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 we did. No, we did. And we said, right. we said, and it, help me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, we said they didn't need to do that. I had to pull that up. Yeah. Oh, that was before my time. Okay. I think, I believe we said that it was the the number of teams is just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it just the way it is. There's no need to add extra teams. I don't know. I enjoy wild card weekend in, in football. Yeah, we. I do too. Just the way it is. <laughs> yeah, they That's don't need fine. to add nobody else. And baseball was fine with it too. I like baseball for what it was. No. Especially when you get that sudden death match right before. No, now that for baseball, that that was the one thing that was a shot in the arm for them, as far as I'm concerned. My opinion was to have that playing wild card game. I love it. It's good. It's great. No problem. But this but thing is everything chill, else. Man. This thing makes no sense, man. Yeah, uh, everything else. It, what you, do you I, want eight teams in baseball for? It's unnecessary. Right. Don't you don't need it? It's it's pointless. I'm like eight teams. Don't nobody want to see all that. But yeah, it's already you know, what it, the they got. Already the season is already long enough. And yeah. some mockery. There's nobody in the stands still. Nobody want to watch that. There's nobody in the stands. Well, and you gonna add more games for what? Just. Another season with an asterisk. Nobody cares. Look at them boys. Them boys about to come back right now. They're okay. about to make their run. Boston. Um, yeah, being that baseball is in the state that it's in, they say that, oh, baseball is, you know, is America's baby, this and that, the third. Don't nobody care about baseball like that unless unless you're a diehard baseball fan. So this was a way for them to try to get more, you know, oh, everybody's in, in the pandemic, so let's give them something else to watch and blah, blah, blah. Let's give them a couple more teams to get in there to put eyeballs on it. That's all that is, man. But they, oh, yeah. they need to leave it. They need to leave it the way it is as far as the playoff setup is, and they need to cut down all them frigging games that they have. 162. Exactly. Games. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree. They more. Yeah, we, 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 have, we, have, we have said this for uh, quite... But this is tradition, and you're breaking what? up... No, no, Ever. no. You're a liar, you sir. Us... It's about the money. Yeah, this is why... Yeah, yeah, it's about money. I really think and they could cut it. They could cut down basketball, it. for real, for real. Like, oh, yeah, instead of... it's, it's about having home games. <laughs> Yo, Give me those six and six. Deep. I, I, think, what is is it? I think I think I think for baseball, I think a perfect world, I think 140 games would be suffice. 140? I, I was about to say 108. I, 20, I say oh, I 12, say 125. Yeah, I say 105. Okay. I say 108. That's just enough. I'm out. 50 about, 50 home, 50 on a road, 54 on a 54, 54. That's about, a good number to me. What about basketball then? 66. Uh, 60. Yeah, 66. 60. Yeah. Baseball should be done in October. I mean, in, in, in August, the regular season should be done. 
we should be done with with yeah. with um the World Series and and the September into October should be done. Yes. If a player can breathe and see his breath, it's too fucking cold to play baseball. <laughs> Facts. Facts. I'm just saying. Facts. So Facts. then you're rolling football. Football is fine. Where is that? September into uh, I football say they, got they, it right. This uh, fo- football got it right. That's what makes you want to watch every week. It's only it's 17 it's a, weeks. It's a certain amount. Everybody of get a week off. It's a sense of urgency. It's a sense of urgency. It's a sense of urgency. Exactly. Yeah, I then, then I have no problem paying these guys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You, you got no problem. But when you got a hundred and some games and these guys take days off and they don't oh, man, seem to think that it's a, it's a sense of urgency to play the game and people Facts. like DA play, 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 uh, paying his money to go see these games and they they tanking or they they decide not to play, and he don't spend his hard earned money to take his kids. To- <laughs> and, and when I and when I see that, and when I see that motherfucker da, I'm gonna tell his ass not to do that shit because it's showing up ain't me. And and baseball is the original load management. They sit in games. Yeah, you know he caught for three pitchers in a row. Let's give him a night off. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. Mike, you're, you're, you're absolutely yeah. right, Mike. Yeah, we can't be having Yeah, Mike, you're right. Baseball he, is played, a he played third base three nights in a row and played second last night. Let's give him three nights up. And, and Mike, oh, they this... used, they, Mike, there was a time where these guys, the, the, the pitcher actually went nine innings every every four, three to four games. I mean, days, matter of fact. They didn't have this all this rest and all that stuff. These yeah. pitches don't pitch five days no more. They be, yeah, we're gonna give him one more day. We're gonna stick a we're gonna sneak a reliever in there mm-hmm. and let him give us four innings and then get out of here, man. I paid this pitcher a hundred million dollars. I want to see him every fifth day. He yeah. need to be out there. That's that's what that's what uh, only way they start every fifth day is is on um MLB the show. Right. Right. <laughs> Well, I'm a, I'm gonna steal Kevin's thunder real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the moderator and ask our moderator, Kevin. Where <laughs> everything being said, give me two teams from the American League and two teams in the National League that you see in the in the uh, conference championship. I really I really like the White Sox, man. I really really like the White Sox. I watched them the other night. I really like the White Sox and how they how they do. I like the White Sox. And I like Minnesota. Minnesota just can't play the Yankees. <laughs> if they play the Yankees, it's a wrap. They lose. But I like Minnesota's team. Their team, the Minnesota can rake. So I like, I like that. I like that to be in the in the, a, uh, the ALCS. Um, in the National League, I'm gonna say. Let me look here real quick. Oh man, you cheating now? Let me stop. <laughs> Uh, you know, I like I like the I like the Dodgers. I like the Dodgers and, and like I said, and, and DA's called it, yo, San Diego was gonna be good and it was good. So my man left for, uh, he left Baltimore and he went on to went on to San Diego. Looked like that was a good move. Uh, it's no pressure out there for him, man. You nah, know what I'm it's, it's, house money, man. You know what it you know what it reminds me of, kind of sorta, not to cut away. It kind of reminds me of the Jimmy Butler move to Miami. It was a perfect yeah. fit. You know what I'm saying? He is it's kind of his team, but it's not. And there's no pressure whatsoever, and he's taking it. He's teaching them young boys how to play. You know, playing out of Sunday, San Diego, and they just raking. You know, Fernando Tatis and oh, them boys is playing good. Um, what's his name? Fam and um, yeah, and, and Hosma, and you and you got Profar on the bench. Yes, that's how deep they are. Yeah. So that's 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 my two. That's my two that I got in the, in the National League. Okay, okay. All right, hold on, Kevin. DA, what you got, man? A- ALCS, NLCS, who you got for me? DA, you mean uh, Unmute your mic, brother. Okay. Yeah, I would sure have loved to say my Yankees, but I will not disrespect myself. So, I will go with the Indians because they were there last year and they kind of understand what they need to do now to go forward. Um, the Rays are playing with house money. No one expected them to do anything. The Oakland A's are playing very, very, very hard baseball. Like they run out stuff, play good defense, good defensive team, good defensive team. And I guess if I had to, I would throw Kev's White Sox there. Uh, 
yeah, I would throw them up there. Uh, National League, I'm definitely uh, my two out there. And I named four, I'm sorry. But in National League, I like San Diego, but they're, they're not going to get past the Dodgers. And, man, I, yo, I, I dig Atlanta, man. They got bats, man. They got players at every position in Atlanta, man. And they get down players. I like Atlanta, man. I I, I just thought they were young last year, man. I like Atlanta. So uh, I, I go with the Braves. All right, all right, all right. Mike Mills, who you got for me, man? Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to go with the White Sox. And I think the Twins is going to surprise people. Yeah, I, I agree about the Twins. I, I think the Twins is going to surprise some people. And then the NL, I'm going to pray my Mets get right, even though we're supposed to be a non-biased show. I'm still going to pray my boys get right. This year? <laughs> they be having nice with They look like world beaters. And then they be having nice with They look like, God damn the Mets. Excuse so me, I'm yes. going I'm sorry, one Kyle. They only three games out. Yeah, they they only three games out. You're right. They only three games out. And like I said, they have them nice where they look like world beaters, and that's all it takes. That's all it takes in baseball, especially. Get a couple hits, get a couple stolen bases. And the other team, I'm going shout out. I'm not going with the Dodgers because they got playoff demons. (laughs) Miami, hell no. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. I'm going to follow D.A. and say them Padres. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. Slam Diego Padres. Because okay. right. me and D.A. been friends tonight. <laughs> true, true, yeah. true. Don't That'll be, be talking with your mic muted. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> D-Dub, my man, who you got Who you got in the ALCS and the NLCS? Talk to the, talk to the people, man. Uh, I'm going Tampa Bay. And I like Cleveland, but I don't think they're going to – they always have some some issues. Uh, Tampa Bay and Minnesota, and I'm probably going to go with uh, – I, I, I got to go with the Dodgers, man. The Dodgers is, is – Yeah, that's what I said. The Dodgers, uh, Dodgers, man. Dodgers, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, I, I, I can't not say the Dodgers – and um, I would take the Dodgers and Chicago. Chicago 25 and 18. I don't trust Atlanta. Atlanta, that's a team I don't trust. Why you don't? Philadelphia, no. Say that again? The DA said they have bats. I, I agree. Yeah, they cool. do have bats. The, 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 the Braves? Braves? Yeah, they, got, they might have them well, but then here's the again, when we playing seven game series, and you know how it goes. Even when you got bats, yeah. when the team gets up two to one, and you looking for a bat to get <laughs> to get you out. Oh, here's here's the other caveat too. So if to all our fans, I don't know if you know this, um, baseball this year is being played regionally. So you only you only playing teams within your division, mm-hmm. and within so, you know the Yankees don't see get to see the Angels and the Astros don't get to see. Um, I wish they would have saw the Dodgers again. Um, <laughs> um, the Yankees and so forth. They're only playing regionally, so mm-hmm. you're playing you know you're playing your your east east eastern uh, eastern division counting part. So the Yankees will face all the teams in the American League East and all the teams. In the National League East, and that's about it. And wherever Toronto's playing, I believe they're playing in Buffalo. Um, Are they? We don't even know. Uh, at the show. Yeah, they in Buffalo. They was in Buffalo oh. tonight. Yeah. But they let them out the shelter. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. They got a rental. But, well, but, but, <laughs> Kev, like I was saying, like you know, again, once uh, you know, it's it's just di- it's a different game with, with basketball. I mean, with baseball. Baseball is funny, and it, like that pressure. That pressure is real. Like, you know, you know, ba- basketball, you know, somebody got their ball in their hands, you can make a play. Baseball is just totally different. And again, when you down one run, that one run seemed like it's like you down 20. 
That's, and that curveball got a yeah. little drop tonight. <laughs> Yo, Yo, why is his curveball tweaking? Yeah, that's so what I'm take. saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I, 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 yeah, I, you know, Atlanta got the bats, but you know, again, I, I've seen teams being searching for them bats at this, the, at the time that you need it, and you can't find it, and you know. But here's the, here's the other caveat. There's no, no fans in the stands. No fans. That that's true. That's that's no gonna be a difference. Fans, so me and you have been to place uh, to to postseason um, baseball at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, at the old stadium. Yes, where it's absolutely been rocking. I think you went to a game against Texas. Yeah, and Texas I was against the against Angels. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's absolutely playoff baseball. Be rocking. That makes a difference, man. I, you know, a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> Those though, sir. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Again, uh, the fans are part of the game. A lot, of, you know, except for this year because of the COVID issue. But it makes a difference for them guys. The energy for some of these, some players, it, especially if you on, if you're the home team, the, the players on role players seem to understand their roles at home with the fans, and just the opposite when they go on the, when they go on the road. They, you know, sometimes they they can't find themselves they, because right. they don't have, you know, they don't have it. They don't have that, that that juice behind it, and that's a real that's a real thing. A lot of people, you know, gloss over that. Um, but I don't know. I, I, if you ask some of these players, the players tell you that that's a real that's a real thing. That's true, man. Hey, we we enjoyed the baseball segment there, man. More to come. Um, should be interesting. Like I said, only eighteen games left, and. We'll see. So we'll transition from baseball to the National Football League, and we'll just go over. Hey guys, football is here. I, I I absolutely when somebody say hey they kick off on Thursday, I was like what? Yeah. And I was like, well, Dad, we didn't have no preseason, and you know we had this and we had that, the COVID and all that stuff, and we didn't even get to college football and their craziness. You know some. Some conferences are playing, some ain't. Uh, Big Ten, they they might play, they might not. But I mean, yeah, NFL. we had East, East. Uh, what was it? Eastern Carolina against Marshall. I think this this weekend I, I watched them and Marshall stomped a hole. I was like, this is the. I said, this is what I'll be talking about, man. Like oh, you man. pay you pay these teams to come to make your team look good. So how does the team that look like shit understand what you know? How do they how do they progress? That program, but it's all about the money. DA knows more about that, and uh, you know, I, I, I um, can't. But we're, anyway. we're, we're going to have to just. Um, That's a whole nother situation yeah, story. Um, we're going to probably have to just cover football, the whole entire football show, because, like I said, it is absolutely snuck up on us. Yeah. Um, preseason, and we got College Texas football tonight. I mean, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. In, in, in Kansas City, uh, are they going to be fans yet? Yes, from what I understand, they are going to be fans, but it's supposed to be limited, not that many um, fans in the building. Uh -huh. I think I read somewhere that they're looking to they're seeking at least twenty percent capacity for every game. So yeah. take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. All right. So I don't know where we start. What, what do you guys think about this NFL starting season? I'll start with the eight. What you think, brother? It's going to be weird. Um, no, like this first month is going to be sloppy. You right. lose a lot of people, a lot of players to soft muscle tissue injuries, right. a lot of sprains, um, ACLs. Um, you know, like people are going to have like muscles just leave their bones. Um, that's what happened to Jerry McCoy um, in practice in Dallas. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I guess we'll watch and see, man. Football is still going to be football. People are going to watch football because they love the sport. It's that weird yeah. animal in all of us that, you know, we hate violence, yeah. but we like to watch violence. Um, so that's where we're at. I think it should be a good season. I think yeah, guys will do the best they can. Um, I think there's going to be change coming. I don't think. Like Mahomes is going to come back down to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the league because um, you know he's been hearing so much over this last five months that he was God. Um, 
And he's great. Don't get me wrong, but he's not God. So I agree. Mahomes will come back down. Some other teams have come up. The one thing that's really great about football is every year there's a, a there's a surprise somewhere. So we just have to keep our eye out for the surprise. Oh, uh, I'm I'm waiting for it. Um, we'll just talk about your team real quick. We, we what's your expectations for the Niners this year? We should be as good, but not as good a record. I mean, it, it, my whole thing is on Jimmy G. My defense is going to be set. Right. Like, that's not even going to be an issue. They said the new kid we got from South, um, South Carolina is bigger, stronger, and faster than the, than Buckman. Right. Right. Our defense, we're, we're right. Offensive line is good. We just picked up old boy from Washington. I was named Trey. Um, what's the dude's name? Holy oh, gee. Oh, no. the, 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 Safety? No, um, Tackle. The big, oh, the big Trent team. Williams, Trent Williams. Yeah, we got Trent Williams. So we 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 set. We don't care what the running backs' names are because we got an O line, and we got Kittles, we got Man Man, you know from South Carolina. Man so, Man. Yeah, yeah, that's Man Man. He run dudes over. That's my man's man. Runs you right <laughs> over. And then you know we just have to see what our quarterback does. Okay, but. We going up against, I think, the best quarterback. I think, as far as do it all, Russell's do it all. He was in a what's that group, Mister Funky Man? Yeah, he's do it all. He's do it all. Russell does it all. There's nothing Russell don't do, man. So he you know, scares me. Well, well, well. After the first week, after the next week, we'll probably just do a standalone show just for the NFL only because there's a lot to cover. Um, like I said, dude, it just absolutely snuck up on me, um, so to speak, and, um, you know, with everything else coming. Because if you look at it, you look at the landscape of sports, you know, basketball ain't supposed to be going on, right? Basketball is supposed to be – hockey's still going on. And, you know, um, so it's just been a very weird sports season, and, you know, because of what's absolutely going on. With that said, Mike Mills, what do you think about this upcoming season and your team, the Baltimore Ravens? Like you said, it's surprising me because I done did like three fantasy football drafts. I got one tonight when we get off air. It's like they keep sending. I was I thought we was gonna do a sports chases one, but this shit is just crazy. Like it's it's they keep flying in. You, you know, so never go over fantasy football. So no. Oh no. Oh wow. Well. Right. I, I mean, I I mean, I feel it because it, it it burns you out and it ruins the game somewhat. <laughs> Exactly. I took a year off. I, I took a year I, off when I, I, I didn't. I was, and yo, football Mike, was so much better. I, you got to take a year off sometimes. Mike, uh, that's what I said. And I, I think that's what is made is, I mean, I had to get away from it, man, because it was like work. Because you, it's like work messing with fantasy yeah, football. Because you got to know what you're doing, especially you got some bread on the line, right? right. So, um, and then it, it just, um, you feel like burnt out. With the, yeah. the fantasy, I know guys that got like six much. leagues. Yo, yeah. dog, six leagues. I say, yo, how? Yeah, it, it's right. too much, man. It's too much. It's too much. I agree. You got That's prepared. Why. You got. It's a lot to go that goes into it, and you got to be focused. And the minute that you slip, man, your 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 joint is over. Yeah, your joint is gotta, over, man. Like yeah, so. like normally I'm the type to prepare. I be watching. I be listening mm. to fantasy focus podcasts, all that. But this year, I ain't even. I've been, yeah, it's been quick. But uh, it's going to be interesting. Lack of fans, like we were talking about with baseball, is going to affect with football. Because look at Seattle. They're known for the 12th man. You mm -hmm. know, there's some stadiums that's it's hard to play in, especially when them fans get rocking. You want to so know. It's going to be interesting. And my Ravens, we went 14-2 last year. That was amazing. As a fan, as a Ravens fan, I've – not used to having an offense. I almost cried every night this last season. Like, this is what it feels like to score more than 20 points. Like, because it's crazy. But if we could go 12-4 and four and win the Super Bowl, I'd be happy. But less games and more playoff wins. So, I'll go with – I'll say we're going to do 12-4 and four Super Bowl. That's so what I'm going with my Ravens. Your Ravens got Even without Earl Thomas 
his funny business. We talk about that later. Your boys got the Browns the first week. And we're going to kick the shit out the Browns. We're going to beat the hell out the Browns. Damn. <laughs> we are going to kick the shit. Because they the ones that beat us last year. They wanted the two. And then we got Mahomes, I think, week three. We're going to kick the shit out of Mahomes. But them tell, Browns tell them how you really feel. We gonna kick tell, this tell shit. Them, tell them, Mike. Tell them how they really. They ain't want to come to Baltimore, right? And that's why they. That's why they. What they. <coughs> what they got. They ain't want to come to Baltimore. But we are gonna kick the Browns. Uh, D got the Cardinals. Got the 49ers. So I do. So with that said, I'm gonna have E, who's a Arizona Cardinals fan. Eric, what do you think about the upcoming NFL National Football League season? Yeah, I'm. I'm in agreement with everybody else, man. It's gonna be weird. Um, to see a football game with no fans there. I, I, I'm at, I say in October is really when I'm going to be locked in just to see how everybody settles in and all this other stuff. And But I will say this. I think uh, with all the surprises that we talked about, I think that the team that somehow goes 3-1, and 4-0 in the first month is going to be that team to really look for coming down into the playoffs. I think uh, when you have that, you don't have fans, you have to have some other kind of momentum. Um, and if you could somehow um, escape through the first month without serious injuries to your more um, important players or whatever, I think that's going to play a part. Um, the Cardinals, I think we have a lot of um, – proven to do. We got pieces. Um, I'm not sure how the back end of our defense looked. I mean, we got Murphy, the young boy playing corner. He's coming up decent. We signed, re-signed Buda Baker to all this money or whatever. You know how cats are when they get that bag. But um, we'll, 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 we'll see, man. I think um, it was a good pickup. I think they overpaid for, Hop, for Hopkins, but that's another topic. Um, they needed them, but they, I think they overpaid for them. Um, but they're going to teach. They're going to teach them young boys uh, between him and Fitz. Yo, Christian Kirk, if you don't get it now, Negro, you ain't never going to get it. That's that's how I feel about it. But the Cardinals, I think we'll win eight games this year. That that NFC West, let me tell you something. Nobody's talking about now. Now DA touched on it with Russell Wilson, with the addition of. Um, Adams in the back end of that defense. Look for them to. I think Seattle's going to uh, um, be the number one defense as far as turnovers go, but it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. The officials are terrible. Go ahead. You really think they paid too much for Hopkins? I think they paid Buda Baker a little bit too much. You think they paid too much for well, Hopkins? Well, for a receiver for two years, that's twenty nine years old. Yes, I do. Um, but I'm I'm cheap like that. So now, but yeah, they overpaid now, for Buda Baker. That's that's without a question. Now Hopkins, now Hopkins, you no, know, he had Brian Hoyer at quarterback, and he this thing had a hundred receptions. Now imagine what you can do with Kyler Murray. But but you got to look at it too. Who else was Brian Hoyer going to throw to? Arizona got weapons. Y'all fake got weapons. Okay, we got weapons, dog. We fake got Fitz, weapons. Fitz had how many catches last year? I don't know how many catches. And now, now, look at it now. You got Hop as the number one. You can move uh, Kirk as the number two. You can have Fitz in the, in the, in, in the, in the slot. I like Kirk yeah, better in the slot. And we got um, Max Williams as a tight end. Man, keep sleeping. Yeah, but you're going to still need a booster chair for your quarterback. <laughs> nah. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, hold on, wait, wait, nah, Kev, nah, nah, Kev, don't put your hand up. Nah, 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 nah don't put your hand up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And car seat, Kyler. And car seat. That's fine, that's fine. You got a six foot what quarterback? You call him Danny Dimes, and he's serving out pennies. Let's talk about your squad. I'll leave the ball. Ah, he's not bad. The Giants is the criminals they got. They got <laughs> cornerbacks committing all robbery. The Giants is crazy. Go ahead, D. Dog. What do you think about this upcoming? Oh, oh man, this upcoming year, man. I I really don't have a lot of expectations, man. I'm looking to be surprised, like Da said, man. I'm, and E, and rest of the boys. I, yo, I, what what can you expect? I can expect some injuries. I expect the the only thing I do expect is the first four weeks to be 
you know, filling out, trying to find a way. And, uh, oh, and, uh, I'm sorry, the NBA, uh, Toronto and Boston is going to overtime, but, um, that's what I expect, man. As far as the Giants, man, I don't even know, man. We got Joe Judge, new coach. We got a bunch of new players. Uh, Danny Dimes, the second year. I'm still. I don't know, man. I still ain't never been. You know, everybody trying to get me to get. Oh yeah, get behind it. I I I can't, man. Right now, man. I don't know about this guy. I really don't, man. He look he look okay, but <laughs> but. <laughs> That's about it, man. I can't. Other than that, that's all I got, man. I, I expect it to be, a, you know, we'll, we'll see, man. Like I said, it's just going to be very, 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 very different without the fans there. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how um, I have talked about, you know, the politics in, into the sports and stuff like that. How is this going to, you know, is this going to turn people off? And, you know, again, we're trying to, you know, Everybody's different, you know. We everybody has a, a escape, you know. You're trying to escape. You there's politics on another channel. When I want to watch sports, I just want to watch sports. I want to deal with all this other stuff that's going on. Listen, sir, sir, please. I'm, I'm, this is my my opinion, sir. My opinion, and this is what I feel, and that's it. So I'm not here to get into argument with nobody. But okay. all I can tell you is that. When it's time to watch sports at one o'clock, that's what I want to watch. Okay, that's it. That is all. <laughs> Jeremy from Jericho Turpie, go ahead with your call. <laughs> hey, I think to piggyback on what everybody has said so far about the um, NFL, man, I think it's going to be a very weird, weird season. Like I said, there's no preseason games, nothing to gauge. You know, hey, Cam looks good in New England and. Uh, what's his name? Just, he's out for the rest of the year. He just hurt his um, – what was my man in Denver? Um, Vaughn Miller, gone yeah. for the rest of the year. He got hurt. Last play of practice. I don't really know what to expect. As a Giant fan, I definitely don't know what to expect. I don't know. This is, this has been one of the one of the years. I have, I have never – we've never had a year like this that we can't – we don't know. I, 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 it I, should I, be fun, though. Year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it should be fun. It should be fun. It should be a little bit fun because you, 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 you. I don't know what to expect tomorrow. I don't know, you know, they're going to look crazy tomorrow when they're playing or, or what, you know. But um, college doesn't have preseason games and they, they come out, but but they, I think they practice a little bit more than the pros, of course. And it should be a fun season. It should be a fun season. And um, I think it was might have been Mike that said, um, Mike Audier that says, you know, looking forward to probably October. When everybody's in a rhythm and all this stuff, and you know they do the COVID testing every day and all that, um, it should be extremely very very interesting. Uh, I don't really have a gauge. I don't even know who I think is going to win or whatever. We'll see because again, the fans and the stands. You know the twelfth man. I mean, are we going to pipe in music too? I mean, how much music can you pipe in? And how much noise can crowd noise can? Pipe in is there's a decibel level they can do it because um, they do it already. Well, ask, ask, ask Belichick, man. He got the, all the blueprints of the, everything. On the, mm-hmm. So yeah, he'll he'll know what to do. He'll know how much he'll the have, decibel. He'll have seventy five strong up there for Cam. <laughs> oh yeah. So it, it it should be very interesting, man. But, yo, man, we had a real quick, real quick. Did y'all hear about Oklahoma? The coach from Oklahoma saying, "Yo, we're not going to tell you." who tested positive for COVID. Um, okay. We're going to treat this as an injury. I, I we, heard that. And, and all I will say is you probably wasn't telling us the proper details anyway. So what the what fucking difference does it make? <laughs> Indeed. Exactly. You just shaking his head. Y- y- y'all know I've been saying that shit. I've been saying, how y'all gonna, how we know what they telling us the truth now? Yeah. Right. I, I heard you have to hear outside of, of football. Like I heard, uh, what was it? Alabama had 2,000 new cases last week. University of South Carolina had 1,000 last week, right? So you only, you have to, you know, you take those numbers and you spread it out among everyone on that campus. One, two of those people got to be football players, right? And that's what, that's what's happening. So that, that information is already there. 
either it's just for us to pick it up and read it. So, yeah. yeah listen, when 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 Trump said, "Listen, all the numbers are going to come through me now." Fuck, now you know. Like, yes, believe, me, believe me, folks. Yeah. <laughs> guess guess uh, no one's gotten sick since that day. You know. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's, it's yeah. Well, well, hey, pardon, pardon shot. So, Eric, the angry one. What, what you got for me this week, man? As we get ready to get out of here, um, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give credit where credit is due. Shout out to the NBA and the NHL for keeping this thing COVID free and giving some people um something to watch um I, I will say that the nba has been very hard for me to watch it's not because of you know everybody has different um preferences and opinions um i just cannot watch a sport where they play absolutely zero defense and that's in any sport I, i'm i'm sorry i you just you know guys come down the lane and you just stop and you just do a el matador and they just go into the lane. I, I can't. That that I can't get jiggy with this shit, man. I can't. No, 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 no. But um, <laughs> shout out to the NBA and the NHL to, for keeping it, you know, um, keeping it safe for the players and and such, and and giving us something to watch. Um, I, I appreciate it. They've proven me wrong. And it's not that I was looking to be right, but um, you know, we had to throw that information out there for the people, man. But Absolutely. um. Absolutely. And we, um, I hope it looks like baseball is finally uh, kind of trying to get a hold on things. So hopefully um, this next, what's this, uh, how many games is left? About 18 left. Yeah, so the next couple of weeks, man, hopefully we can we can uh, see some extra extra teams go at it, which to me is crazy, but whatever, man. Uh, and I'm excited for football, man. I'm going to see what they what they bring too, but it's, 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 it's not the same without the fans, man. But uh, everybody be safe out there, man. Um, Check us out every other every other week, man. We doing it, man. So be safe out there. Wear your mask. DA, what's up, man? Pardon shots. Peace. 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 That's it. Be dumb. Yo, man. Um, no, no really big pardon shots, man. Good show. Um uh, uh I'm looking forward to this NFL um, tomorrow. Get to see get to see that back. Get that you know back in the saddle. So you know, and uh, we'll see how this, the NBA is doing doing pretty good right now. You know, so uh, you know as far as um having something to watch. So, what? Right. Other than that, I'm hey, sorry. Good show, Mike. Uh, you're going to tell us where we can be found at, and you got your party. Yeah. We can be found on Instagram at Sports Chasers Podcast. We can be found on SoundCloud at Sports Chasers Incorporated or INC with the dot. And we can be found on Twitter at Chasers Sports and on YouTube at Sports Chasers Podcast. And don't forget about Facebook, Sports Chasers Podcast. And for my part in shots, Tonight, I'm going to get my outside the lines on and take it on a more serious note. A player at the University of California, Pennsylvania, recently passed away due to complications from COVID-19. Ladies and gentlemen, it is September. We started quarantine in March, late February for some. In March, we started in March. Why is this still an issue? Why didn't the government take control of the situation from the beginning? So with voting season coming and the news today that the president downplayed the threat of the COVID-19. And I know this is a sports podcast, but this is affecting sports as well. A player today passed away. So ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to take heed and go vote. I don't care who you vote for. Just pay attention, make an educated decision, and vote. And that's it. That's my part of shots tonight. Good stuff, brother. That's some good stuff, bro. That's a good one, Mike. Appreciate you. No problem.
So, well, on behalf of myself, um, the host and moderator, uh, Mike Mills, the angry one, James Eric, DA Dorian Albritton, and Daryl D. Dub Warren. This is the Sports Chasers Podcast. Yo, we'll holler at you next week. Peace. <laughs>